everyone, it's your girl Brittany here and welcome to Brit Positive Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone's having a blessed week. To keep up with us here, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and you can listen to us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and Anchor. Now, if you're listening to us on YouTube, then click that subscribe button and notification bell as well to get notified to see when we have posted. And if you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple, or Anchor, then you can click that follow button to join the Brit Positive Fam Bam and download this podcast so you can listen to it on the go. All the links are down below so you can join in spreading the positivity with us. Now for our Brit Positive quote of the day, a negative mind will never give you a positive life. Now let's get started. Our topic of the day is what's the positive in that? So what this episode is all about is we have the audience writing to me questions or stories. So some of these may have just questions for me or question that they have in general. And we can just all sit back and relax and look for the positivity together. Okay, so the first question is how to maintain long distance friendship. Aw, well, the positive in that, first of all, is you have a friendship and not a lot of people can say that, you know, if you are out there and you have a lot of followers and so on, but like, you know, very few of them are your real close friends, like that's special. You know, it's always good to have a friend, you know, you can have a friend across the globe and if that's your friend, that's your friend. That's a person you can talk to, be yourself with, laugh and, you know, build happy memories with and that's what you call a friend. And also too, if they support you and encourage you all the time, then that's a good friend you have. So don't let those ones slip too easily from you. I would say though, um, how to maintain it, just you know communicate you know and just be able to you know find things to do online together you know you can play online games you could you know phone calls watch movies on netflix i think they have this like party watch now on netflix where you and the person you know can watch the same movie at the same time and interact while the movie's going on in like a netflix party watch thing so just do you know things like that you know skype people even use skype facetime (laughs) you know whatsapp each other you know snapchat each other there's even with snapchat this is something i'd use with my friends quite a few times just to kind of like even if we don't have much to say to each other what we would do is like snapchat like a game there's this one my friend and i used to play where we were building like blocks and like you have to keep going and all the pieces have to fit and if it's you or the person you're bursting like ruins the game like you know your score doesn't you know, go high anymore and all those things. And I had a friend where we did that all the time and we didn't have to text. That game just kept us like in contact with each other in such a strange way. And I think sometimes she'll be like messaging me and she's like, did you move yet? And I'm like, oh no, let me go do that now. So things like that, Snapchat games, you know, Netflix, Party Watch, you know, send each other playlists. You know, there could be a song that makes you think of them or help them through something. And I I don't know why, but when I was younger, I went to like sleepover and as a gift bag, (laughs) a party, I don't know what they call it anymore, party bag (laughs) or, you know, party gift bag. Um, They, she like created a CD and the CD was all of her favorite songs and she handed out as like party favors. And for some reason, maybe it's because I love music so much that that CD like literally holds all my childhood memories because I can just remember playing that CD so much and I was into the music. So if it's to even make a playlist of your friend, you and your friends songs that you both love, you know, sometimes if I remember a friend of mine and I don't get to see her a lot, um, I'll post like a little Instagram picture of me and her. And then I put like a Backstreet Boys song to it just because that's a song me and her both sang to so you know things like that can just help maintain the friendship and just every once in a while just let each other know that you care you're there for them and you're here for them and you're you're rooting for them to do well in life and just you know things like that helps to maintain a beautiful friendship okay let's get into the next one here what is your favorite hobby or pastime it can be many things but if i can name a few i like watching some interesting netflix shows or movies or re- mostly for me though like one that i can say i'm enjoying myself the most is when i'm reading books that's my favorite hobby or pastime <laughs> or even playing the piano sometimes i'll take a whack at it and play a few songs i'm no expert by no means but Sometimes I have fun doing that 
and it helps pass the time. Okay, so the next one we got here is what is something to help start your day positive? I mean, there's a lot of things you can do to help start your day to make it positive. Um, I believe always start your day with thankfulness because then throughout the day no matter what happens you you know consciously or unconsciously will remember the things that are a blessing in your life so if it's to get up and write three things that you're grateful for before you do anything in your day do that so that throughout the day no matter what if someone cut you off while driving or a hard time at work or school those three things that you wrote that you're thankful for will be the anchor through your day in a sense of like, I'm still blessed. I'm still here. There's so much good. Let's focus on the good. Let's add more good things on the list instead of it just being three. You know, it it's good to always remind yourself the good that's around you than the bad. Another thing you guys can do to start off your day to be positive is a prayer, you know, reading something that's encouraging, you know, make like self-encouraging cards for yourself. You know, things that you want to say, like affirmation, you know, say I'm going to have a great day today or I am so blessed or I am going to have a great positive day or I'm going to show kindness to myself and others. If you just start your day that way, you're just like pronouncing good that over your life and for others around you. And that also can lead you to having a positive day. So give that a try. You know, I believe it works because I done it and I've seen the good in my days in just starting positive and saying positive things to myself and others. And it it just makes a huge difference. So give that a try, you guys. Okay, the next one we got here is what are some films you are excited to see this summer? Um hmm, good question. Well, there are a couple films out there actually that I've seen already. I saw Space Jam 2. I thought it was a cute family movie. Um, I saw The Fast and Furious 9. Thought it was good. I am looking forward to seeing Jungle Cruise. So no spoilers for me, you guys. <laughs> and Free Guy. I think that one I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, those are two ones I'm like waiting to go and eventually see. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really crazy about summer movies, though, this year. You know, it's been like maybe Netflix shows or binge watching stuff. I don't know. I think last year I watched so much stuff that it's like, I don't know. I just don't get much from watching things anymore. But but I am I mean, I'm still watching, you know, to have a nice Friday or Saturday weekend kind of thing. But yeah, Free Guy and Jungle Cruise are the ones I'm looking forward to seeing eventually. OK, and the next one is how do I date while in a pandemic? <laughs> oh, Well, luckily, we have the help of the Internet in, you know, helping us still have interactions with others over the computer. (laughs) So you can go on dating apps. Now, do not ask me which ones are the best ones. You know, just just go and give it a try. And I think see it as an experience. Don't go into it with expectation like you're going to find the one and things like that, like. There are people who have the story where they did meet their husband or wife on there. So I get that. But just go in to say, hey, I'm here to learn. I'm here to make friends. I'm here to see what where it leads. But be safe, too. Don't be giving out your addresses and sending money and all those things over line. I don't know. I'm just saying <laughs> just be safe. But that's one way to date during a pandemic. Um, I think I heard there's like a social distance date. So, you, you know, you guys kind of stay like six feet apart and you know, have a nice little coffee or so. (laughs) People are getting vaccinated now, though, so I think it's a bit different. I think people are going on dates now, but still, just be careful and, you know, ask the question, hey, have you been vaccinated yet? (laughs) And if they're like, no, be like, "Hmm, you know, call me when you do. Or if they haven't and they have a legit reason why, I don't know, hear them out. All I say, it depends on you and what you're comfortable with. You know, there are people who will write that in their profile, I hear, where it's like they're vaccinated. And then you're like, oh, okay. So, like, you know, you go ahead. And then some aren't. And like I said, it depends on what you want. So just keep that in mind. Next one is any ideas of summer activities to do this year? Hmm. Well, a lot of people now, like I said before, are vaccinated. So, you know, I guess there's more places that you can travel and I think people are traveling again so you know travel if you can um there's the beach the lake they can go and hang out 
you know, have a nice little social distance barbecue, you know, create a game, you know, use your creativity and create a game with cards or like your own thing, like, you know, whatever it is, be creative this summer. You know, if you want to try something different that you never tried before, like knit, I've never knit and I might try it because, you know, it's summer and I think summer is that opportunity to try new things. So try something you've never done before. Don't don't be like, oh, I never seen this movie. I'm going to watch it. That's that's just a movie. We've all seen movies we've never seen and end up seeing it. And we're like, oh, it was good, you know, but actually something like a, a an activity that you've never done before. I'm not saying it has to be knitting, but just something that you were like, I would never do it or I didn't want to. Because, like, for example, if you never baked before, try baking. Do something simple like making pu- cupcakes or cookies or a cake, you know. Just do stuff that you never normally do just to bring some interesting difference in your, your season of summer. Love, <laughs> love the podcast. Just wanted to say thank you for showing so much love. Oh, my goodness. This podcast is so positive and loving. Aw. I love this. You guys are so sweet. What is one of your fave things about podcasting? Okay, quick question. I would say I love the interactions I have with you guys online. It's been really nice and fun. And, you know, everybody's so supportive and positive. And, you know, it's just good to see that. And, you know, a lot of the followers, you guys are just amazing. And I, you know, your love and positivity never goes unnoticed. I really love what I do. And I, I try to make the time for it. I really do because it's just so fulfilling for me, but also just knowing that at least if one person can, you know, feel positive and good from listening to the podcast and an interaction or any positivity at all that I'm able to put out and they receive it, it's all well worth it. So yeah, that's one of my favorite things about podcasting. Okay, next one is how do I deal with going in for work while still going through a pandemic? Ooh, I can relate to this one, actually, because I had to go back out there in the work world with mask and everything. And it can be a bit nerve wracking at first because you don't know, you can't see the germ. And, you know, it was it was kind of like you just all being distant from each other when before it was a time where you just walk into somewhere and you didn't think twice about it. Now you kind of have to, like, sanitize every step you take. <laughs> but um. I think the the thing that you can do to help with that is just know, just do your part, you know, keep your social distance, sanitize. If you want to get vaccinated, get vaccinated to help you fight off the germ. If you don't, that's your choice as well. Um, you know, another thing, too, is just keep yourself busy, you know, so you're not constantly thinking, hey, I'm working in a during a pandemic, <laughs> you know, keep yourself busy with work. You know, text your family or friends during sometimes you feel stressed because then they are there to support you. They're there to encourage you, you know, tell you not to worry. So it's good to have that support system. So, you know, in case you feel a bit flustered or nervous about working during a pandemic, do things like that. Or, you know, talk with your coworkers, you know, get to know them. Sometimes in getting to know people around you can help make you feel like you're not alone. And that just right there kind of helps you feel more comfortable in your area and because you are going to spend a couple of good hours there. So might as well get comfortable. If you guys work at a desk, make it your own, you know, do things that make you feel comfortable. Have your keyboard and mouse. You can take one from home if they allow it and, you know, put a little plant on your desk, things like that. Have like positive sayings around you if you can. All of that is just to make you feel like you're not working in a pandemic, but you're working and, you know, you're putting yourself in a place where you feel safe, you know? So keep that in mind so you're not always rattling your brain, being nervous over the fact that you're working during a pandemic. And the next question we got is, what is your favorite episode you've recorded? I would say all the episodes I had with guests are my favorites because I love having conversations with people and whenever I can get somebody to come on the show it's really fun and we can both talk about something awesome and look for the positive in it together it's just nice I just love it and I love everyone who's been on the show 
And if you guys are listening, which you know who you are, thank you so much for coming on the show. And for those who may want to come on the show, let me know. Message me and we can do a topic together. I'm really open to having conversations with people, you know. So, yeah, I like having guests on the show. That would be one of my favorite episodes. Well, that's all we have for today. Thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast. You guys are amazing. And if you want more, click that subscribe button. And to show your support, check out our Brit Positive merch. Hope you guys love them because I love designing them and I love to see you wear them and tag me in them so I can repost it because your love and support never goes unnoticed. I'm telling you. So thanks guys for listening and we'll be back next time. Bye.